I'm Anil Kumar and here is an excellent question to review concepts of transformation. Uh, the question here is, consider the function y equals to e to the power of x. Find the equation of the graph that results from the reflection about the line y equals to 2. Second question related to the same function is, find the equation of the graph that results from reflection about the line x equals to 3. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So we have basically two questions here, and both are related to one function, which is e to the power of x, right? So, so we'll sketch these graphs and then try to understand how to solve such a question. So the function given to us is e to the power of x. So let me first sketch e to the power of x, which is going to look like this, right? So e to the power of x. So that is the function which we're talking about, okay. So this is e to the power of x, okay. Now, part A of the question is, find the equation of the graph that results from reflection about the line y equals to 2. Now what is that line y equals to 2? Line y equals to 2 will be a horizontal line, correct? This line. This line is y equals to 2, right? Now we need to reflect this graph on this line y equals to 2, correct? So it's like a mirror image. So if I have to reflect it on this, then uh, what happens? Well, let's take some values on this function. It is a very rough sketch, but uh, fairly accurate to understand the concept. Anything to the power of zero is always one, right? So this point we know is two. Now, and this is, this is x equals to, x is all real numbers, so there's no restriction on domain. y equals to zero is this blue line. That is a horizontal asymptote. Now, when I reflect at about the line which is y equals to 2, this asymptote will actually uh, be re also reflected and it will be at 2 away, right? So it will be at 4, correct? So let me draw this horizontal asymptote now for this graph. So, so what I will have here is this portion will be approaching this side, correct? This point which is on y equals to 2 is invariant and this point which is one distance away, will be reflected one distance away, so will be at 3, right? So this will be at 3. Now these points are good for us to sketch the function. So let me sketch this function uh, slightly bold so that you can understand what are we trying to do. So it will be kind of like this. Do you see that? So that is how the function is going to look like. So this is the reflected function. The question here is, find the equation of this graph, right? So you can actually think about it and write the equation of this graph. I'll meanwhile continue with the second part of this question. So I haven't really given you the answer, but I've shown you how it should look like. Now here, part B is, find the equation of the graph that results from reflection about the line x equals to 3. So let's go back to this. Let's say this is 1 for us, right? Now, uh, what is E? E is how much? Let's look into the value of E as such, right? So E is, e is equal to 2.718, right? So E is equal to 2.718. So if x is 1, then then it is 2.718, right? So it is like, uh, let's say this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So this is the value of E, right? When, when x is 1, right? So we just 2.718, approximately. It's an important number to work with. Okay, we are saying x equals to 3. That means 3 is far away, kind of here. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have taken that far away this point anyway. So what I will do here is think about this. 
uh, then we have kind of a break here okay <laughs> since uh, I don't really have space so I'll draw x equals to 3 a line here okay so this is my line about which I need to reflect this graph and this is at x equals to 3 so this line is x equals to 3 so if I have to reflect on this line then the graph of the function will be this is our mirror right so it will be this point gets reflected here right so it kind of it is like this is that okay so that is how the graph is going to look like perfect so that is how the graph is going to look like right now the question is write down the equation of both these reflected graphs right so let's write down the first one now here what you see here is that everything is vertical one it is moving vertical two units and then it's getting reflected and whenever we write equations we have to do multiplication kind of things first right so what we can do here is we can write this function let us say g of x as equal to reflection means minus right it reflection is minus e of x and then we move it two units up so plus two so that is how we could write this equation using transformations correct now in this particular case the reflection is on the x-axis correct and that too about the line which is x equals to 3 so that means we if we would have reflected it this place let us say in that case we are translating it right by three units and therefore the equation of this should be uh, let's say h of x equals to e to the power of minus now since we are moving right it is to three units we'll write x minus three do you see that that is how this equation should be written right you could also write this as e to the power of minus x plus three do you see that so that becomes the equation of the graph which is reflected on the line x equals to three i hope that makes sense it is a very important concept i like you to go through this and understand and then move on to the next question thank you and all the best